When using Adobe Illustrator and using Vectrix's Fire program, one thing that becomes a consistent issue as well as opportunity with the Aspire software is that you not always will have a piece of material that's as this one indicates. What I want you to look at is, let's go back over here to the job setup dimensions and origin. When I click on this, I told you to go and set it at 24 by 22 in the Y axis and 24 in the X axis. Well, sometimes you may not always have wood that size. Sometimes you may have wood that you buy, say, at a big box uh, home improvement store like either Lowe's or Home Depot. Well, they'll sell MDF or plywood in a variety of sizes. Like one size they sell it is two feet by four feet. Well, in production, when we're trying to get a product done really, really quick, we may just come in and cut that right down the middle. Instead of having 24 by 22 in size, our size actually may be 24 uh, by 24. Now another thing to also note that's real important in creating your tool pass is the thickness of the material that you're working with. Like in our case we're working with half inch MDF so I've got it set to half inch. But say later I have a client that wants to mill out this uh, letter Y and they want it done in say quarter inch MDF or maybe they want it in three eighths inch plywood, whatever. Then we would come back here and set the size accordingly and then adjust our tool path once we've created it. But always keep in mind, this is real important to know this, that you can come back and change the size of the material that you're working at and still use the same artwork you already created. Like we just did here, going from 24 in the X and 24 in the Y. So keep that in consideration and of course always keep in consideration the thickness of material and you always want to stay on your material at the top of it when you set your offsets. That I'll explain later.